Well, hey there, folks, and uh, welcome back. I guess. Today we're making 2x pot roast sausage. I had a dream in which we, we solved one of this channel's biggest problems, which is turning beef into a sausage that doesn't taste like hamburger. There we go. So I came up with an idea. We're gonna cook half of this pot roast and we're gonna use that as seasoning for the other uncooked half, if that makes sense. Including the vegetables. So we'll divvy up the vegetables in half as well. And sure, it, 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 you may be saying it's probably not a good idea to mix, you know, raw beef with cooked beef, but uh, what are you, the beef police? I mean, the, the, the beef should cook down during the cooking process. So it's, it should, this should work. I base that on no evidence whatsoever. And like with any good pot roast, we're gonna, we're gonna season it first. Sear it on all sides, and then we'll throw it in the, the pressure cooker. Sizzle, my pet. And we're going to save the other half for the raw portion. All right, and we'll let this go for, for 30 minutes. We'll, we'll get this prepared into cubes and, and throw it in the freezer for a little bit so that the grinder doesn't get all jammed up with all that hot hot meat. This is either the dumbest idea I've ever had or the best idea I've ever had. There will be no in between. We're looking for a five out of five on this one. God, this is taking forever. Fall apart. Well, all right, it's grinder time. <gasps> Then it's time for the raw beef. And the raw vegetables. What a mess of, of deliciousness. I'm, I'm being blocked by a carrot. Oh, oh my God. Oh, 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 oh we're running out of room. You may find this hard to believe, but this is going exactly as I pictured it. This part, not so much. I'm, 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 I, 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 I have, I, I no longer know what to think about this. I wanna take shelter from the poison rain where the sausage has no name. Oh, God, it's a big boy. Take a guess what kind of water that is. That's the pot roast water. In three, two, one. Let's sausage. Right at the finish line. You know, originally I was gonna pan sear this but seeing just how wet it is I, th I think it's more appropriate that we throw it in the toaster oven which special thanks to today's mark boxalo box artist this guy oh i got some water on it sorry about that that really does look like mark ruffalo this will it blow is brought to you by raycon does the thought of paying for overpriced earbuds give you instant diarrhea it shouldn't get a hold of yourself but the good people at raycon believe it shouldn't cost your financial and digestive health just to listen to your favorite music podcasts and audiobooks that's because raycon earbuds and speakers start at half the price of other premium audio brands you know which ones i mean and to make it even easier they also offer for buy now, pay later options. I use mine to help me get through tedious tasks around the house. Laundry, doing the dishes, vacuuming, and with eight hours of continuous playtime and a pairing range of 33 feet from your phone, you'll be able to drown out and ignore your family every day. Of course, the audio quality is amazing, but it's also the additional features that I like most, like touch control. I can pause or switch tracks, take calls, and adjust the volume all from the earbuds instead of taking out my phone. These aren't special 
special occasion earbuds. They're designed for everyday use and built to withstand general screw-ups. Accidentally left them in your pockets while it went through the washing machine? They still work. Left them out in the rain? They still work. Dropped them in a pool or toilet? They still work. But come on, this is starting to sound intentional. Ready to buy something small with a big impact? Click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash sausage to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. So will it blow? <laughs> oh, yep, yep, yep. Not bad, not bad at all. Oh, it goes higher. Pretty good. You know what? We we haven't had a will it blow that good in quite some time. I'm, I'm feeling generous today. I'm going to have to give that will it blow five Mark Ruffalos. <laughs> Oh, show. Oh, come on now. That went as poorly as it's ever gone before. That was an ordeal. All right, we're gonna we're gonna lower this to like 200, and we'll and we'll do this for like an hour and a half. 30 minutes left to go, and look at all that juice. Hot. What am I doing? Oh no 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 no! Just stop that from pouring. Well, all right. Let's see how we did. It looks. Brown. Here comes the cleanup crew. It may not look like much, but, uh, you know, no bursts. Let's open it up and see how we did. It's not looking good. It looks, it's, it looks dry. Come on, Mr. Sausage. Your whole reputation's riding on this one. Here we go! It's pretty good. It, it definitely could use some salt and pepper in there, but, um, it definitely tastes like a pot roast. It's holding together, but you, you can, you can see, you know, you can, you can see the texture of that. That's, that's not, it's not great. I think we were, we were somewhat successful in this. It, it, it does not taste anything like a hamburger. It is, it is 100% pot roast flavor in there. Just some salt and pepper would probably have cleaned this up quite a bit. We are, however, doing a little bit better than the cat food sausage, which, which is something. So on this day, we, we don't, we don't leave the battlefield totally victorious. I'm gonna have to give this sausage here a three and a half out of five. Bop, bop. Bop, bop, bop. Just, just for, for once, for once, just come on now.